Hey guys, so well, as you can see, the weather is a bit nippy out here. So it has been bad for the last couple of days, especially last night. Last night we were having just really cold temperatures and some freezing drizzles. Then right now it's just a bit overcast. It's not that cold out, it's 35 degrees, so it's now finally above freezing. And it should start to warm up by the end of the week. And at the end of the, the week, either Thursday or Friday, I will uh, do a video on getting the lawn equipment out and running. But, but before I do so, got to mix up some gas and oil for the, the two-stroke equipments. So I just went to the gas station. I bought about just roughly hard to see it just roughly two gallons of gas on mixing up gas and oil for the two-stroke equipments most of them uh, the echo equipments the majority of them use a 50 to 1 and a couple of the older ones and also the lawn boy use a 32 to 1 so I will use a, a gallon each for both of these containers. And so without further ado we'll get started. And so I have done a video like this before in the past few years but it was not in HD so I thought I'd just remake it this time put it in HD. First we'll do a uh, mix up a 50 to 1 gas oil mix. And so let me uh, get this uh, nozzle off. The first thing that you are going to want to do is fill up your uh, gas container. Fill it up about halfway of how much fuel that, you, that you're going to mix. So in this case we're going to need to mix up only a gallon. First we'll just put about half of the fuel in, so which in this case we'll put in about half a gallon of gas. Okay. One of the nice things about these no spill gas cans, see it has a little thing here to really tell for sure on how much fuel that you've put in them. So we've put in just about half a gallon of gas. So now, and for a 50 to 1 gas oil mix, if you're going to mix just only one gallon of it, you'll just need a 2.6 ounce container like this one right here, this Echo Power Blend, which this will only make only one gallon of gas, which is 2.6 fluid ounces. Okay. Hold on a second, let me break that seal off. Okay, there we go. All right. Just to make sure that y'all can see what I'm doing here. Now we'll pour this whole thing of the Echo Power Blend two stroke oil into our fuel container. And we'll just let all that just run out. More is still coming out. That should be good enough for now. So now, 
put your cap back on on your fuel can just get it on there snug and then just thoroughly shake your fuel can shake it up thoroughly want to do this for about maybe 20 to 30 seconds get it all thoroughly mixed really well just once after you thoroughly mixed up your container your gas and oil just half of the gas that's in it go ahead and just Pull your cap off on the fuel can and then uh, top her off. Get her topped off to one gallon of gas. Usually what I like to do is have it a little bit under one gallon which that way that'll make the the oil mixture or fuel oil mixture a little bit rich okay maybe just a tad more in there okay that should be good we're just at roughly one gallon And then now, once after you got it topped off, now just put your your cap back on the fuel can, and then just thoroughly want to just shake it up again thoroughly. Make sure that is on there securely, so that way when you shake it, no gas will come splashing right out. And then again, just thoroughly. Shake up your, shake it up for about 20 to 30 seconds. Sometimes every once in a while you want to just do that, let some of the vapors out. Okay, so that one right here, it's all good to go. So that's how you would uh, mix up a 50 to 1 gas oil mix. Now I'm going to show you on how to make a 32 to 1 gas oil mix. Okay, so now to mix up a 32 to 1 gas oil mix, I've now decided to actually just move indoors because it was just starting to rain and it's now just a light drizzle so I just don't want to get all the contents all wet just to prevent any water from going inside the gas can okay so my tripod all positioned here that way y'all can see what I'm doing all right and just like before and fill our container up halfway. Now for this I'm going to also mix up a 32 to 1 uh, also in to uh, just one gallon of gas which in that case we would need just a bit more oil. So first I'll get this uh, try to get this position that way I can be able to see on how much fuel I'm putting in here. It is hard to see from in here. Okay. 
it's probably not enough now. Nope. Uh, how about now? All right, just a tiny bit under half a gallon, maybe just a tiny bit more. Okay. You know, I also forgot to mention, as far as what grade of gas, for uh, two strokes, I recommend using one of the higher octane fuels rather than just use the uh, regular unleaded fuel, which would be octane 87. I like to use either the uh, mid-grade fuel, which would be 89 octane, or the premium, which would be 93 octane. Now in some countries it would be 91, but usually uh, around here, usually in the, the U.S., it's usually it's 93 octane. So I like to use the highest uh, octane fuel in two strokes because to me they seem to they, they run a lot better okay so now got the fuel can filled up about halfway so now put some I have a one quart container of this Valvoline multi-purpose two cycle engine oil it's got instructions here on the back. Hang on a second. Okay. Can you all see that? Okay, it says here for a 32 to 1 gas oil mix, we would need 4 ounces of oil to make uh, just only 1 gallon. That's what that says. So I got this empty container of Briggs & Stratton Advance fuel treatment and stabilizer so I'll just take some of this oil and I'm going to fill it right up to four ounces right there and that's what we need alright so I got four ounces of two stroke oil in this container if you do happen to put maybe just a tiny bit too much then don't worry about that it never hurts to have your uh, fuel mixture a little bit rich So once again, now we'll pour all of this four ounces of two-stroke oil into half a gallon of gas. Okay, I like to just let it sit like that for a while just to ensure to get the majority of all the oil out. I'm sure you might have saw at the bottom the color of the fuel has changed was just a clear color now it's almost like a dark blue color okay I think that should be good enough I'll just put our lid on. See if it can just get right on there. There we go. Okay, so now just just thoroughly shake it up, get it all mixed up really good. And then just once after you've uh, mixed it up, shook it up thoroughly, then just top her off with gas.
Alright, so now you can see I got just roughly one gallon of gas in, so it's all topped off. So once you have got it topped off, just thoroughly just shake it up. And again, do it for about 30 seconds. I find if you mix it up the longest, that way it's, it's much better. And always uh, shake it up every time before you refill your uh, two-stroke equipment with gas because it it can separate the gas and the oil. They can separate and that could uh, do some harm on your two-stroke engine. So always always shake it up thoroughly every time. Not just when you're uh, mixing up uh, more gas for them. You gotta do this every time before you refill your equipment. Alright, I think that's good enough. So, we're pretty much all good to go. So, just just gotta wait for now is get some nice warm weather. That way, we'll get all these things out and running. And so, cool. Alright, so I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video, and so thanks for watching.